Have you ever felt like you're stuck in a rut, watching days blend into each other, with your dream seeming just out of reach? It's like, no matter what you do, you're running in place, not getting any closer to where you want to be. Frustrating, isn't it? But here's a thought. What if the key to unlocking all those dreams and goals isn't found in the hustle and grind, but within the power of your own mind? Or more simply, the power of visualization? Buddha wisely said, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. This is something that we, in the modern era, didn't fully understand, but it's been practiced for thousands of years in the past. Visualization is like discovering a hidden path in a dense forest. William James, a wise old philosopher, once said, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. This is where visualization shines. It's a potent tool that can transform the landscape of your life in incredible ways. Think of it as an architect drawing a blueprint before the actual building takes shape. You're the architect here, and your dreams are the structures you're going to build. So how do you change the game of your life? That's what this video is all about. Keep watching until the end, because we're going to explore how the power of visualization can be your secret weapon to breaking free from the rut and stepping into a life where dreams don't just stay dreams. But to get to that point, let's first understand visualization itself. Well, you can imagine visualization like a superpower we all have, but maybe we've just forgotten how to use it. You know when you daydream, maybe about lounging on a sunny beach or nailing that job interview? That's visualization. But it's more than just daydreaming. It's like creating a movie in your mind where you're the director, the scriptwriter, and the star. Visualization is about seeing the life you want in your head down to the tiniest detail. It's like picturing yourself holding that diploma, feeling the joy, seeing the proud smiles of your family, or maybe you're visualizing crossing the finish line of a marathon, feeling that rush of achievement it's all about creating these clear, vivid pictures in your mind. But it's not just about seeing it. It's about feeling it, believing it. When you visualize, you're not just watching a scene, you're in it. You can feel the sand between your toes, hear the crowd cheering, smell the fresh paint in your new house. Your brain starts to think, hey, this feels real. And that's where the magic begins. And this, my friend, can change things for you big time. For instance, picture yourself healthy and strong. Studies have shown that when people visualize themselves healthy, their bodies start to believe it. Your mind is a powerful ally in healing and staying fit. Or maybe you dream of financial freedom. Visualize it. See yourself as a successful person, handling money wisely, living comfortably. It's like setting the GPS for your financial journey. Also, whether you're looking for love or want to strengthen your current relationships, picture happy, loving, fulfilling relationships. Visualization can help. Got goals? Visualize them. Want to write a book? Start a business? or learn a new skill, see yourself doing it, succeeding at it. Visualization can help in all these areas of your life. So, we've just explored how getting crystal clear about what you want is the first big step. But how can you do it? This is where you need to understand the actual process of visualization. Think of it as crafting your personal masterpiece. It might seem a bit tricky at first, but stick with it and soon you'll be painting your future with ease. Now, to start, you have to first create your dream blueprint or what we call idealization. For it, 
picture yourself as an architect. Before building anything, you need a blueprint, right? Idealization is just that. It's where you dream big and get specific about what you want. Instead of a broad, I want to be happy, you zoom in. Ask yourself, what exactly does happiness mean to me? Is it having a fulfilling career, a loving family, traveling the world? This step is super important. Visualizing is like making a plan in your head. It's like telling your brain, hey, this is where we're going. Imagine it's like typing in the address on your mental GPS to get to your destination. Now, let's talk about clarity and consistency. These two buddies are super important in visualization. Clarity means being really clear and detailed. It's like painting a picture in your mind and making sure you see all the colors, feel the feelings, hear the sounds. The clearer the picture, the more real it feels. Consistency is like adding fuel to your mental picture. Once you've got that clear image, you got to keep looking at it like watering a plant or hitting the gym. The more you do it, the stronger and clearer the picture gets. Make it a habit like brushing your teeth. Over time, doing this over and over starts to change how you see things. Now, let's try something out. Close your eyes and imagine you're standing on a snowy mountain. Feel the cold air, hear the crunch of snow, smell the pine. This isn't just daydreaming. It's like practice for your brain. The better you imagine it, the more real it feels and the more it affects how you think and live. Now, let's get into how this really changes things. Think about this quote. You are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. That's like hitting the nail on the head. Visualizing isn't just about dreaming. It's about shaping your future. When you spend time imagining good stuff, your brain starts moving in that direction. It's like planting seeds in a garden. The more you water them, the more they grow until they become real. And here's the big player in all this, your subconscious mind. It's like the engine room of a ship doing a lot of work behind the scenes. When you visualize, you're giving it instructions. And here's the wild part. Your subconscious doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's in your head. So when you visualize something vividly, it starts working to make it real. As you keep visualizing, your subconscious starts finding ways to make it happen. It's like having a GPS that knows all the shortcuts and avoids traffic jams. This is where the real magic of visualization kicks in. It's not just about seeing things in your mind. It's about rewiring how you think and believe. And as you change, the world around you changes too. It's like the universe is rearranging itself to help you out. But you got to stick with it. Like planting a seed, it takes time to see results. But trust me, things are happening beneath the surface. Keep at it and you'll see the world around you start to change. Visualizing means imagining things. When you visualize, it's like planting seeds in your mind. With time, these seeds grow and break through the soil into the sunlight. Now that we've seen how visualization works its magic, let's talk about how you can use it in your life. Think of visualization like having a Swiss army knife in your mental toolkit. It's ready to help you in different parts of your life. First, let's talk about health. Remember, your mind can help your body heal. Athletes, like sports players, use visualization to improve their performance. They imagine themselves doing their best in their sport. This helps them actually get better, but anyone can do this, not just athletes. Now, let's talk about money. 
and having enough of what you need. Picture yourself reaching your financial goals, whether it's earning more money, saving up, or not owing anyone money. Imagine how good it feels to have enough money and not worry about it. When you do this regularly, your brain starts noticing ways to make these goals real. You might see a job opening, get a good idea for a business, or make smarter choices with your money. Lastly, let's talk about reaching your personal and work goals. Visualizing is like making a plan for success. Whether it's doing well in a job interview, learning something new, or getting along better with others. Picture yourself doing well in detail and feel how good it feels to succeed. This helps you feel more confident and ready for when it really happens. To sum up, visualization isn't just for some people. It's something everyone can do. It's like having a special tool in your mind that can help you make your dreams come true. So why not give it a try? Spend a few minutes every day picturing your goals and how you'll reach them. And remember, it's not just about imagining. You also have to take action to make things happen. Remember, your thoughts can change your world. So, use visualization to paint a picture of the life you want. Thanks for watching and good luck.